I received a call uh, shortly after 1 a.m. Got in my car and headed here and then I saw the fire and felt the wind. The wind was insane. You could see the hills glowing. There were ashes falling on my car. Well, as I came up the freeway, the mountainside behind the, the facility was on fire. We started receiving patients in our emergency room door and evacuees. They were covered in soot with clothes burned, covered in ash, and they were just so afraid. They kept repeating there was no time to get out. There was nothing we could save. The charge nurse said, let's set up for triage immediately. And this is where we started pulling together as an amazing team. During those first few hours, we were actually out here doing our best to stop the fire from hitting critical points. We started with uh, the oxygen tanks. There's an oxygen tank that leads in the facility, some diesel tanks. The fire was about 10 to 20 feet away from one of those tanks. We were out there with garden hoses and five gallon buckets and shovels trying to put out the fire. It was pretty impressive to see um, them out there just working so hard, right, right side by side with us, you know, just trying to protect their, their work and, and protect the patients. The smoke was, was inundating the building. It was pretty bad. You couldn't see down the long hallway in the back. You couldn't see from one end to the other. We ended up pulling in the residents. They started showing up. Uh, more and more doctors started showing up. Then I got a call at 2 a.m. on Monday morning that there were flames starting to get close to the hospital. We might need to evacuate. I'm thinking I gotta, I gotta get there. I gotta get to the hospital. I wasn't able to get anywhere in my truck, so I went back and got my motorcycle uh, because I knew I could get around traffic and debris better. The flames were getting closer and closer, and we had made the decision that it was about time to evacuate, and it was then that the Sonoma County EMS called us to tell us it was a mandatory evacuation. Sutter Health has never evacuated a hospital in its history. There was fires out here in the parking lot right where we were driving, and it just that wasn't even a concern that the fire was 50 feet from the door. It was just everyone's focus on getting the patients to safety and making sure everybody else was safe, and that's just, that's incredible. So it just felt like everybody had a piece. People were calling the hospitals to find out how many you could take care. People were finding how many ambulances can, can take these patients. We had eight babies in the NICU, uh, two of whom were going to need a transport incubator with respiratory support because they were not stable enough that they could go just in a regular ambulance. We used the Sutter Health Transfer Center. We had buses, we had ambulances, whatever we could get here to get the patients transferred out as quickly as possible. Big players that evening were the team here in our transfer center in getting patients out of here to a variety of other hospitals, but that included hospitals in Oakland, Berkeley, San Francisco. Uh, Little Novato Hospital doubled its census overnight, you know, within about three hours. Being in an emergency room, it was amazing how everything just started going and moving. Just the flow of everybody working together. They decided who's going to go with what patients, because that was the other part too, that these nurses didn't just get to go home and the patients left, they went with their patients. Now we're making sure everyone has the supplies they need. So we're sending pillows and we're sending blankets and we're sending gowns to wherever we send patients yeah. to make sure that they've got what they need. <laughs> Beetle monitors, the equipment, yep. The team here took things in charge and they evacuated from our hospital in a short period of time, every patient community members that had come into the facility for safety evacuated them and all the staff. No injuries, no harm, no loss of life. It was an amazing act of teamwork. And that team was supported by the larger Sutter Health team that helped support and guide us in many, many ways. 77 patients transferred safely, not only to our hospitals in the area, but a variety of other non-Sutter hospitals that took our patients. I'm just so thankful for Sutter Health and all the support that they have given. Thank you to the incredible team that we work with here at Sutter and Santa Rosa. Amazing group of people and family and it's wonderful to have them all back again.